Betty Brosmer is a former model who gained national notoriety before she was even 18 years old. Her natural good looks and hourglass figure made her a perfect subject for photographs at a relatively early age. She started modeling when she was a young girl and continued for many years before retiring to become a fitness columnist for her late husband's magazines. Today, Betty is still around, and photos of the former model in her prime are just as stunning as ever. Join Facts First as we explore how Betty Brosmer had an award-winning bust in her prime. Betty Brosmer was born in Pasadena, California in 1935. When she was young, her parents moved her to Carmel-by-the-Sea, which is where she spent the majority of her childhood. But they moved to L.A. when Betty was 10 and settled there for the time being. From a young age, Betty was interested in athletics. Even before her teenage years, she got into weightlifting. Though she was a natural beauty, her intense fitness regimen helped the future model develop her iconic hourglass figure. Her avid athleticism made her parents think that maybe the young girl had a future in the field of athletics. But fate had different ideas for the blossoming young woman. At the age of only 13, a photo of Betty was published in a Sears and Roebuck catalog. Her family initially assumed this was just going to be a one-off modeling opportunity, but more offers followed for the teen. Soon, she was a professional model. At age 14, Betty Brosmer traveled to New York City with her aunt. Betty and her family imagined the young woman might find some more lucrative modeling opportunities in the city. Betty found some mild success upon that visit. She had many professional photos taken, and one of those ended up being sold to a company called Emerson Television. Emerson used the picture in a variety of different ad campaigns over the next few years. These ad campaigns were featured mostly in magazines, and the first thought on the mind of everyone who saw them was, who is that model? Betty traveled back and forth across the country. Despite having one of her pictures sold and used in notable campaigns, Betty and her aunt didn't end up feeling as if their first visit to New York was very successful. They moved back to Los Angeles. However, not long after arriving, Betty and her family were approached by two men who were prominent figures in the pinup industry. They tried to convince Betty's family that the young woman belonged in New York City. They told them Betty would eventually find modeling success in the city if she persevered, and the family was won over by the pair's pleas. So Betty and her aunt moved back to New York City. As Betty Brosmer persevered at becoming a famous model, she also continued her education. She attended George Washington High School while moonlighting as a model. According to Betty, the people who wound up gazing at her photographs never realized she was only in high school. Photographers apparently took careful care in making the model look much older than she was. Betty claims that when she was only 15, photographers would make her appear to be 25. In the years leading up to Betty's 18th birthday, the model was gradually rising up the ranks in the world of New York City modeling. Some of her early modeling work saw her gracing the covers of lurid pulp magazines. Once again, the readers of these magazines likely had no idea the girl on the cover was just attending high school. Betty also began working the pageant circuit around this time to get more attention. Betty's natural beauty and stunning figure made her a perfect fit for the world of pageants, and she won many of them. She also made several television appearances before turning 18. Some of the programs she appeared on include The Milton Berle Show, The Steve Allen Show, and The Jackie Gleason Show. At age 18, Betty decided to move back to California. By this time, she had gained so much fame that her cross-country move was written about in a national gossip column. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Betty received a bachelor's degree in psychology. Upon returning to California, she continued working as a model and pursuing her education. She began attending UCLA, where she majored in psychology. She graduated with a bachelor's degree, but her modeling career was continuing to take off. After years of floundering semi-successfully in the modeling scene, Betty finally received her big break around the same time of her college graduation. This was in the form of being spotted by a photographer named Keith Bernard. Keith helped Betty get increasingly lucrative modeling work. Around this time, Playboy expressed some interest in getting Betty to pose for a photo shoot for the then burgeoning publication. Betty agreed, and a third party photo shoot was filmed and submitted to the magazine. The photos didn't feature Betty in the nude, as Betty refused to do nudity in all forms. Because of this, Playboy sued Betty for breaching the contract she had signed upon entering a deal with the publication. Thankfully, Playboy ended up letting the matter fall by the wayside, and the photos were later published. Playboy might not have been the right fit for Betty Brosmer. 
She had found some middling success in the world of pinup modeling, but the fact that she was unwilling to take off her clothes meant she couldn't get all that much work in the field. Still, she knew her exceptional natural beauty and stunning hourglass figure would end up being put to good use somewhere in the modeling world. How Betty Brosmer Met Joe Wider Not long after the Playboy debacle, Keith Bernard was contacted by a man named Joe Wider. Joe was the owner of a variety of fitness publications, and he contacted Keith looking for new models. Keith sent Joe some pictures of Betty Brosmer, and Keith instantly became enamored of the stunningly fit model. Thus, a professional relationship was born that would soon grow into a romantic one. Betty became Joe's go-to model, and Joe continued to solicit photo shoots from the model for many years, with Keith as an intermediary. Eventually, Betty and Joe met. By the time they met, the two had already been working together for a handful of years. Face to face, the pair quickly fell in love. Betty continued her professional work with Joe after they got married in 1961. Around this time, Betty began contributing to Joe's magazines with more than just her photogenic physical presence. She began writing columns for the magazines, and the college-educated model's opinions clicked with the magazine's readers. Betty and Joe found plenty of success together after getting married and maintained a modest fitness empire for decades before Joe Wider finally passed away in 2013. He was 93. Betty is still around today, with the former model being 87. The magazine she wrote for was called Muscle and Fitness. Wider founded the magazine in 1935, and it continued to be published for a few years after his death. Where is Betty Brosmer now? As a result of their numerous contributions to the world of fitness, Betty Brosmer and her late husband are still considered to be heroes by many. In the early 2000s, the pair donated $1 million to the University of Texas in Austin. The money was so the school could build a more impressive collection of literature and other resources related to physical culture. Physical health remained very important to Joe Wider in the years leading to his death, and it still remains close to the heart of Betty Brosmer. Though she isn't seen nearly as much as she used to be, it's nice to know the 87-year-old model is still around. Today, pictures of Betty in her prime can still turn heads thanks to her unbelievable hourglass figure. Betty is one of the few models ever who maintained an ideal hourglass figure where her bust was not only the exact same size as her waist, but also double the size of her midriff. Betty's bust and waist measured 36 during her prime, and she only measured 18 inches around the middle. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of Betty Brosmer? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.